What's going on everybody? The 2021 NFL season is in the books. The Rams are world champs. The Bengals, what a surprise getting to the Super Bowl, right? Preseason, they were 125 to one to get to the Super Bowl and they did it and they lost and it was a great Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers was the MVP of the NFL season. And today we wanna to look forward to 2022, okay? So let's talk some MVP odds. Let's talk some MVP odds. Patrick Mahomes is your favorite right now, paying seven to one, as is Aaron Rodgers looking for his third consecutive MVP. Is that even possible? Aaron Rodgers had 37 touchdowns and four interceptions last year, led the league in rating. Absolutely incredible. Josh Allen is at nine to one. Joe Burrow, 12 to one odds to win the, to win the MVP award. Justin Herbert is at 14 to one. Matthew Stafford's at 15 to one. Kyler Murray's at 25 to one. The last nine quarterback to win the award was Adrian Peterson in 2012. So I'm trusting that a quarterback will win the award yet again. Okay, so Patrick Mahomes is, is the favorite with, with Aaron Rodgers. I'm looking at Patrick Mahomes numbers this year, man. He was top five in yards and touchdowns and he didn't have the best season of his career. So in that Andy Reid offense with Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, and if he bounces back, right? I mean, we're probably looking at what, 45 touchdowns and eight picks. I mean, he's gonna be right up there. I think I think he's gonna have a great chance. Rodgers winning for the third consecutive time, and I just can't see it. Josh Allen, 36 touchdowns, 15 picks this year, and kind of had an up, down, up and down season at times. You know, 2020, he got votes for, he was what, number three? For, for the, in, in the MVP voting. So these are obviously all players for you to keep an eye on, but I'm very intrigued by these youngsters, Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. Okay, so, jo so Joe Burrow, number one in completion percentage on the year, 34 touchdowns, 14 picks, took the Bengals to the Super Bowl. The Bengals are gonna have a ton of money uh, in free agency. They're gonna, they have a, t a ton of cap space here. Okay, so I think they rebuild that offensive line their arsenal is just, it's strong. With Jamar Chase and T Higgins and Uzoma and Joe Mixon and what am I forgetting, Tyler Boyd. I mean, these guys are pretty good. So I think Joe Burrow is gonna put up a bunch of numbers. And you look at Justin Herbert, the, the, the Chargers also have a ton of cap space here. Justin Herbert, uh, number two in yards, number three in touchdowns. Now Mike Williams is a free agent, but I think they hang on to him. Justin Herbert is just getting better and better and better. I think he's just going to put up huge numbers this year. And he's at 14-1. And I'm telling you, I think Justin Herbert is a candidate to finish with 48, 50 touchdowns, 5,300 yards. Okay, I think this guy is only going to get better. The other guys are great too, right? I mean, Mahomes, I think, is going to have phenomenal numbers. Rodgers again, and Allen and these guys. But my pick is Justin Herbert. It really is. I think he's got a strong offensive line. I think he's got a, um, uh, a, a good arsenal there at the wide receiver position. Jared Cook, tight end, is a free agent. But, you know, Jared Cook's okay. He's not great, okay? We've seen the best out of Jared Cook, okay? I, I honestly think that uh, they're only going to get better offensively. Austin Eckler had a phenomenal year. And Justin Herbert, man, just remember that last game against the Raiders? where he put up two touchdowns in the last eight minutes of the game. They had like six fourth down conversions. I mean, I just, this guy, he's, he's cool, calm and collected. And I think he's ready to produce some amazing numbers this year. And I think the Chargers, I don't know if they threaten to win the division, well, they might, they gotta get better defensively. But I really think they put up some huge numbers on offense. I mean, this year they had what? They had the fourth best offense in the league. So I think the Chargers are gonna, are gonna get to the playoffs and I think Justin Herbert at 14 to one offers some pretty good value. So that's what I'm going with. We shall see what happens. And for everything regarding the world of betting, you can go to Oddshark.